Welcome back to the continuing adventures of Power Boating in Paradise with members of the Florida Power Boat Club. This is Stu Jones as we rejoin the members on our signature poker run event, the Key West Offshore Poker Run, which takes place every November. And this is the 26th edition of this amazing event presented by Mercury Racing with our grand prize sponsor, OffLeaseOnly.com. We are now in episode six with feature coverage of this event. And where we left off last, we had pretty much done all of the poker cards uh, on the Thursday run. We finished up at Grove Harbor Marina and we made our way down through Biscayne Bay uh, for the 50 mile trek down to Key Largo. So we're now about to rejoin our members as they settle in at uh, Gilbert's in Key Largo for lunch. And of course, there's another lunch stop further south down in Marathon, but we're gonna pick them up here and continue this adventure as we weave through the Florida Keys. Lots of high speed power boating action as we continue with this feature coverage. So thanks for joining us, let's go. So we're going to catch up with our group as we give you some wonderful images from drone and from helicopter uh, for this Thursday group, which, by the way, is about 150 boats, and many of them have made it to Gilbert's for lunch here. You can see that they're really starting to stack up here at Gilbert's, and of course there's still a lot of boats that haven't even arrived yet, and very many boats that have already gone past Gilbert's heading for Ferro Blanco lunch stop in Marathon. Uh, so we have such a big event that we have to have two lunch stops. I think next year we're gonna have to go to three because look how crowded it is here already at Gilbert's. Uh, you can see that even in spite of our efforts to provide really accurate instructions on how to do a good raft up, the fact that the rows are being bent from the dock would indicate that the current is pushing on the transoms of the boats. Uh, and that is clearly because somebody didn't take the time to figure out which way the current was going. Even if it was just a small current, you still have to make sure that you're pushed or docked into the current, nose into the current, because once you start rafting out eight, nine, 10 boats, the amount of force on the transoms is what's done is it's bent that whole line forward. You can see how the lines are bending forward and that's exactly why that happens. Uh, so, uh, you know, just a note to you guys, it's your boats and the valuable uh, lesson that could be learned could be you know some damage to your boat uh, to your paint uh, or you could crush the inside of the boats on the inside could get crushed their gunnels could get crushed the rub rails could get twisted um, these are the kinds of things that we need to watch for when we dock in on these big events so something I'm gonna really make an effort on the next big Key West poker run we're gonna have to limit the number of boats that go to Gilbert's and have more locations to visit uh, in the Florida Keys for the lunch stop so um, but let's talk about the good stuff now Gilbert's obviously a fantastic location for lunch their food is fabulous their service is uh, second to none and of course that rustic vibe that we get from the tiki bar really makes you feel like you've arrived in the Keys and we want you guys to have that feeling when you get down here because remember it's November many of you have already been in the throes of winter and you left very cold climates some of you maybe even left you know snow to come down here in November so we think that Gilbert's does give us that vibe that we enjoy so much and that's why it's been such a popular location for all of us so uh, great looking show here otherwise guys the boats are beautiful some of the latest and greatest center consoles uh, and V bottoms of all kinds cats of all kinds really every kind of boat imaginable in the performance world is Registered here for this event and uh, and what a big day. What a beautiful day here in the middle of November So let's get started with our team introductions. Uh, Barry and Stephanie Henson uh, from Tennessee in this uh, 2007 43 Nortec Supercat with twin 1100 Teagues. A beautiful boat, one that we've seen in the club before. It found uh, a new owners and nice to see you guys enjoying the boat. Here's a boat we haven't seen in a very long time. Lauren Leibel from Canada in his 46 foot skater race boat uh, rigged and prepped by Johnny himself, uh, Johnny TNT. Uh, and that's it. That's the last we see of him. He's on his way to Key West. And another shot of Tom Clocker from Ohio in this 42-foot cigarette. No ETA. Got a lot of good coverage of this boat in the last episode. Anyone. 
I really love this shot because it combines the newest uh, with the classics. Uh, this classic Apache in the foreground and this brand new cigarette to 41 in the background. Let's talk a little bit about this Apache first. Uh, quite an interesting story here. Amy and Howard bind it all the way from Michigan. It's a 1994 41 Apache race pleasure. And Howard tells me in the video bio that he spent an entire year, got the boat a year ago, and pretty much tore it apart and rebuilt it completely. So this is the very first poker run since the rebuild. Uh, that's, that's a pretty incredible task when you think about it. And after that, towed it a total of 1,400 miles from Algonac, Michigan to be here uh, for this event. So uh, guys, a uh, big, big round of applause for you guys. And he says he credits his wife, Amy, for all her support. And he's got his friends, Dave, Aaron, and Courtney on board today. And now for a closer look here at Michael and Lori Smith from Naples in their 2018 41 cigarette GTR Reserve quad mercury racing 400 hours uh, they just loved the boat they had a great time on the fpc poker run uh, this is a fun couple who love doing fpc events and thanks for the kind words guys because they said fpc is top notch and let's uh, make a very special welcome to alberto and jenny diaz from miami because it's their first time on the key west poker run also at least in their own boat they've been to key west a number of times but never participated in their own entry and similar to that apache we just saw uh, alberto bought this boat about a year ago he spent a lot of time restoring it and uh, this is one of the first events they've done now since they finished the boat it looks brand new from where i'm sitting i <laughs> mean really one of the older school designs uh, you know they of course have changed the look over the years and this is one of the designs that we saw back in 2002 2003 that was very popular uh, and we still see a lot of these boats in the club now let's welcome Fountain Power Boats, uh, who are now sponsoring the Key West Poker Run, uh, out and returned after many years' absence. But Billy Moore here, along with Ed Champion, in this Fountain 32 Cat with Mercury Racing 400 Rs. Uh, a great looking boat, obviously, with that huge fountain name on the side. I like how they did the little 76. Uh, that was popular uh, back in the day. But uh, nice to have you guys on this run, and great to see Fountain back in Washington, North Carolina, uh, in a full production of not only this boat, but several other models as well. And I love some of these wide angle shots that the chopper sometimes gets, which really illustrates just how great the conditions are today. Very calm waters and light winds. And you know, people say this event could be a little crowded. I don't see any crowding going on here as we catch up with this Mystic. Uh, this looks like Daryl Cuddle from Ohio in this very colorful 42 Mystic center console. Uh, it's got quad mercury racing Verados. Look how the lime green is color coordinated on the engine cowlings with the boat. This boat is super, super pretty. I love the paintwork and I know that he loves the boat too. So uh, Daryl, uh, welcome to the club. I think it's your second time on the Key West run and we wanna welcome you back. And another Mystic a sister ship to Daryl's boat. This is Doug Falcone and uh, a big shout out to Marine Unlimited. They've sponsored the Key West Poker Run and we've got Doug and Sherry Falcone on board. This is their own personal boat. Of course, Bernie Newhouse uh, was their dealer of record at Marine Unlimited in New Jersey. They are selling Mystic as well as a number of other boat lines and I think they have brokerage, so there's uh, used boats, good quality used performance boats there as well, and dry storage and service. So they got it all going on, uh, Marina Unlimited. Boat will be at the sponsor dock, and we want to thank them for sponsoring the Key West Poker Run. Bruno and Rebecca Puri are enjoying this 39-foot Outer Limits. Uh, they've had now two years in a row here at Key West. They bought the boat uh, just more than a year ago, got a great deal on it. What a beautiful 39 Quattro. And let's welcome back Jesse and Stephanie Newman. They're a long way from home in central Minnesota, and they brought their 39-foot Nortec center console powered by triple Mercury Verados. And a sister ship here, another 39-foot Nortec center console, uh, triple Mercury 350 Verados, uh, Ed and Jackie Rachel uh, from the west coast of Florida. And it looks like they've got it. <laughs> They've got a little bit of a show going on here today. If you ever wonder why some people get more helicopter time than others, it has nothing to do with the bikinis. Uh, <laughs> or maybe it does, I don't know. But uh, a great group of uh, people that enjoy having a good time at always. Uh, we love having you guys on the poker runs and really making that Nortec brand stand out because we've got, I think, 32 Nortecs registered. And I think half of the entire fleet are all 39 Nortec center console so obviously a boat that's been very popular and that's a good segue to David Gordon who is now attending his first Key West poker run in team mistreated uh, again love these colors uh, how the grays fade into the green 
Uh, I think that the lime green is really getting catching on again. Everyone seems to love it, but uh, what an awesome looking boat. And remember that all Nortex are painted right there at the factory. And we are now about to join Nortec for this Nortec Owner's Lunch, which we did uh, in Lower Key Largo. So while everybody was at the Gilberts having lunch, Playa Largo Resort hosted this Nortec Owner's Lunch, which brought about 20 or 22 boats out of the 32 Nortecs that were on the run. But look at this cool setup that we had here. We've already done one event here back in the winter poker run of 2018. And then of course we plan on returning here again for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run in 2019. But it's an ideal location if you have about 25 or 30 boats. The marina isn't very big, but you've got this cool restaurant just at the foot of the dock, a sandy beach, and for those who want to stay for the weekend, it is in a Marriott Autograph Collection property. Very, very upscale. And look at this beautiful bay. The, the view doesn't get any better than this. So with all the continuing changes of you know resort destinations in the Keys, at least those with uh, marinas attached, there's very few places you can go anymore, and this was a big, uh, really good find for us here at Florida Powerboat Club, and we can help anybody if they want to get back here one day and uh, check it out. So special thanks to the Nortec factory team for arranging this very special occasion, and I'm sure all the Nortec owners appreciated it. So we are now getting back up to speed as we proceed through the Upper Keys as we catch up with Greg Bent from Louisiana. Uh, Hell Bent is the name of his 452 Superfish, but of course he operates Bent Marine, which is a Nortec dealer in Louisiana, and he's got a big territory across the, the Gulf Coast and the biggest Nortec dealer in those parts anyway. And we hope to see Greg attending both our uh, Orange Beach Powerboat Week, which is the end of May, as well as the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week, is, which is in August. So uh, Greg Bent, a great supporter of the Florida Powerboat Club. And I don't fish, but I love that tuna tower. And I will say you guys got to pay attention in a future episode because we use that for a lovely photo shoot with the FPC girls when we got to Key West. And I think we could all agree that no two 39 Nortec center consoles are alike. And clearly this one stands apart with this brilliant red metallic color uh, along the hull sides and on the T-top. Uh, triple Mercury 400 Arvarados. This is a classic. I love this boat. It's fully loaded and you're going to see it at the Miami Boat Show. And for the new 450 center console, or at least relatively new, it came out two years earlier. Curtis Watkins, who hails from Michigan but also has a Fort Lauderdale home, decided this was going to be his new sexy center console. And it was a big step coming out of a skater and I think he made a great decision. And of course we saved this very special segment uh, for everyone to really get an idea of how cool it is cruising through the Florida Keys, especially when you get into these little mangrove waterways. Now, uh, as we join this 42 Monte Carlo, uh, one of Nortec's very, very unique models, there's Tron up at the helm, along with Eskel Hansen there on the left. And I've had a ride on this boat many times, but this one was very special because we had a boatload of fun people. Look at the incredible weather that we had. and. Clearly we're running at the back of the pack because we're in all this white water. We really enjoyed the ride. We just kicked it back to about 40, 45 miles per hour. And then out of nowhere, we kind of got invaded by not one, but two helicopters. Uh, first, the Florida Powerboat Club chopper, the Robinson R44. And then when we were having fun paying attention to him, out of nowhere comes the Nortec helicopter here. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a turbine powered, uh, I think it's probably a Russian helicopter or something, but uh, uh, it was such a cool ride uh, having the helicopter jump in with us. And thanks to Tron and Eskel and all the Nortec guys for really making this a wonderful day of boating as we weaved our way through the Florida Keys. One thing is certain to every Key West poker run, and that's that Michael Alexander from New York will be there in his 32 skater TJA Motorsports. Thanks for the loyalty, Michael, and it's always great to have you and your crew on board. Let's say hi once again to Alan and Allison Chase in their 2018 41-foot Hustler Razor powered by Mercury Racing 700s. Uh, they came a long way to attend over 1,500 miles from upstate New York. And I want to thank Alan once again for your kind words uh, about how well the event was organized and how much fun you had. And keeping our cigarette numbers strong is Anthony Pertozzi and his gal Kathy, along with Michael and Christy, their friends, who also own a cigarette. But uh, these guys are having a great time. You can see they're just kind of kicking back, enjoying, you know, 55, 60 miles per hour. Hey, this is the way I like to do a poker run, guys. You know, the shirt's off, getting some sun, 
and just chilling back here enjoying this 38 foot cigarette top gun powered by mercury racing 525s a great poker run platform that won't break the bank uh, it's easy to trailer around and just a fun boat no matter where you go And now shifting gears back to the center console population on this event, which is a soaring population <laughs> as we see more and more of these high performance luxury center consoles. This one, a brand new Deep Impact 399. And when I say brand new, I think it was delivered just before the poker run. And that is a Stephen Miles design and paint job. So the boat did have to be shipped out of state to get done. Um, that's a big investment of time and effort if you want to paint your boat with Stephen Miles. But when you get a paint job like this, you could say, well, it was worth the effort. Uh, Rob and Jackie Roush from Fort Lauderdale, it's their second deep impact. They started with a 36, and when they saw the, the new 399, they said, we gotta have one of those. And now back with Don Doty from Michigan uh, in this 42 skater called One Year Skater, a pair of Mercury Racing 1350s, and he is not using the power of these big monster motors because he's cruising along nicely about 90, 95 and enjoying the ride. Back with Ed and Jackie Rachel once again on this 39 Nortec. And while they are enjoying the ride, we are enjoying the view here from our helicopter. Now you know why we use helicopters, guys, because it's the next best thing to actually being on this boat and riding with them. And it looks like we're catching up once again with this 39 Outer Limits Bruno and Rebecca Piri from Florida. Well, Quebec and Florida. And uh, we met them just a little bit earlier. It's our second year in a row for doing the Key West Poker Run. Uh, but as we mentioned before that we just continue along the choppers just kind of chasing the pack along so you might see a couple of boats two or three times as we cruise along and Like we saw the last couple of boats you can see they're just kind of chilling out Maybe 60 65 miles an hour uh, Yeah, they could go a lot faster, but do they need to not really it's a beautiful day and they're just enjoying this scenic ride and let's welcome back Ray and Christine Grimaud from New York in their Big Shot, a Mystic 42, which they've owned now for oh, a little more than two years, and they've done a lot of poker runs with this boat. Now let's say hi to Eric and Ashley Madsen from New York in this 28-foot skater Team Pipe Dreams, and it's their first time for the Key West Poker Run in this skater, which has Mercury Racing colors. I love the fact that it's a 1997 28 with 300 XS outboards. Three words sum up their experience. Best time ever. And now we're joining Sal Olivia here in his 42X cigarette Mercury Racing 700s. And we're going to make this the cigarette spotlight because we've got three or four nice cigarettes coming ahead. And uh, Sal, of course, has been a real, uh, you know, big supporter of the brand. In fact, he just bought another boat. He bought a 39 cigarette center console, a used one with Mercury Verado. So he's got himself a performance V-bottom with good power and a really beautiful paint job. Uh, he redid this boat a couple of years earlier, spent a lot of money. Uh, I know Dave Hunter did the job for him, but he made it exactly the way he wanted it to be, and it is absolutely beautiful. He's done a lot of poker runs with this boat uh, recently, last couple of years, but uh, it was good to see that he bought a center console so that he could take that on some of the Bahamas events. But let's talk a little bit about the brand because, you know, clearly we all know Cigarette as a true bred, you know, performance brand. Uh, and that's really, you know, what the cigarette, the pedigree of cigarette is. It's original Top Guns and race boats from back in the 70s and the 80s. But it was, you know, this year that Skip Braver said, Stu, let's do something different down in the Poker Run Village. Instead of putting one of our newer center consoles on display, let's go back in time. So we put the Project 1080 cigarette as well as one of the original cigarettes ever built, a little 20 that Skip acquired. Uh, in the Poker Run Village, and we'll have more on that later in the show. So let's step into, you know, modern day cigarette now. You know, 2018 cigarette uh, GTO here, Scott and Stacy Rosenbach, a 42-footer. Uh, you know, it's very similar to a Huntress, but it does have the walk around. It's a little bit lighter and uh, I think a little bit faster, but um, basically it's the same size boat as a Huntress, just a little more nimble, more of a performance bred boat. Quad Mercury Racing uh, Verados 400s on the back, so clearly a good performer. As I mentioned in the last episode, I love the blue and white graphics. 
Now let's just step back one year to 2017, and here's Elliot and Erica Witzer, uh, and they're on their first Key West Poker Run. They really loved the event. They said it was uh, awesome. Uh, it was a great event, great venue with lots of great people, and they love watching the races in Key West. Now this is a 41 GTR model that they're in, which if you compare it to the previous boat, it's got a little bit less beam, uh, so it's probably gonna be a little bit more of a performer. I'm not sure how much weight difference it has from the GTO, but these are the kind of boats that everyone is migrating to, and Cigarette is really leading the charge in terms of providing a lot of variations of this hull. And I agree with uh, Elliot and Erica. You know, what they said in their video bio is they really like the paint job. And I agree, uh, again, simple, not overstated. The silvers, the reds, the blacks are very traditional colors. But I like how they did the black T-top with the red inserts. I think that that really set the boat off nice. And uh, what a beautiful ride, guys. Nice to have you on the run. And then there's Joe. <laughs> Well, thank you, Joe. Uh, this 33 Everglades is our official safety boat. He's got Miami-Dade fire rescue paramedics and first responders on the boat. And that's our FPC safety management flag flying high above. Joe, I want to thank you for doing a wonderful job of being out on the course and uh, maintaining the good speed and really keeping us uh, well protected here if any incidents were to occur. And while we are on the subject of safety management, let's also thank and do a great shout out to Florida Fish and Wildlife, FWC. Uh, we had about four, actually six of them recruited as patrol boats for this course. We had two in the Miami to Key Largo segment, two separate boats. We had again two separate boats from Key Largo down to Marathon and these are all arranged in advance and it's all part of a paid duty assignment through your safety management fees. And one more cameo appearance from Sal Olivia in his 42 cigarette. I think we're just going to call this the Sal Show from now on because he's getting a lot of airtime this episode. And not to be outdone, along comes Team Savage uh, from Texas at uh, 40 Foot Skater. Chad Havens, uh, having some fun here, says, Okay, cigarettes are cool, but I'm in a skater and here I go. <laughs> well, there was nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, I think that the skaters are typically front runners. Look at that cool rooster tail. As long as you don't spray somebody down with that rooster tail, we're good. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of open water here, and we always caution everybody, when you do make a pass like that, just make sure you do it on a straight line, and once you get by that boat, keep it going straight, because if you cross them, you're going to soak them. And it looks like we've completed uh, stage two of the run as we arrive here now at Ferro Blanca Resort in Marathon. Remember, this is a lunch stop and a fuel stop, uh, so anybody who wants to jump ahead on the run, this is an ideal situation because you're only 50 miles from Key West. So if you arrive here and uh, you can use your lunch tickets and get some lunch, you can pull up to the tanker and get some race fuel or some good 93, 96, 100, or 116 octane. Uh, and that's what VP Fuels is there to do. They do it every year. And it's no secret that uh, many of you guys with brand new Mercury Racing Power whether it be the 400Rs or whether it be the 1100s, the 1350s or 1550s, you know, some of those big motors do require a higher octane fuel. 93 is the benchmark. And, you know, some of you are actually running bigger fuel than that because you're running 1550s and you want to get true performance. So uh, along with all of the custom boat guys that have custom engines, 1,000, 1,200 horsepower that absolutely need 93 octane or better, uh, that's why we have the tanker there. It does get a little crowded at times and it never hurts to make your fuel reservation ahead of time. In fact, we have been providing uh, a form for that for the last few years and it works out great. You know, Mark at VP Fuels knows who's all coming and they know exactly what kind of fuel you need and how much and that speeds up the whole process. So just remember that along with fuel and lunch, one other thing on your Poker Run checklist here is to get the second bonus card. And that's on the 105 foot Leopard Motor Yacht sponsored by Nextera Energy Marketing. And that's who's been sponsoring this checkpoint for years now. Uh, the boats have changed uh, and sometimes some of the guests have changed, but Mark Palanchian is our host of this event always, along with Captain Allen uh, at the helm. And they do a wonderful job of getting the boat in position and allowing everybody to come up real close and they've got the boat fendered nicely so there's no um, bumps or bruises to your boats and they've got uh, the card on a stick ready to hand out to you. So this bonus card now gives every team a total of seven playing cards which they'll now have for the Saturday night dinner party and that increases their chances of winning that off-lease only 
Chevy Silverado pickup truck. Looks like the helicopter is closing in for a few shots, and I do believe we've got the drone flying as well. And, and this is a big part of the day. You know, you still have a lot of daylight. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. We've got daylight until about 5.30. Uh, so that last one-hour leg uh, going down from Marathon down to Key West, you can do it fast or you can do it slow, but it rarely takes more than an hour to do that final leg. So this is a part of the day that you just take your time and just idle the boat up to the yacht, get your card, and uh, give it a little kiss for good luck, and head your boat offshore and start heading for Key West. Now, I'm not sure how many teams actually did the card here at this Nextera Energy Checkpoint, uh, but we certainly know that a lot of them did. So we're just going to turn the music up a little bit and give you guys that crew close-up as each team comes up boat by boat to get their card. And this is, to me, really a very enjoyable segment because you really get a chance to get a closer look at all of these teams having a blast. So let's enjoy this segment brought to you by Nextera Energy Marketing.
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this great coverage of uh, episode six featuring the Key West Offshore Poker Run. A lot of high speed action as we weaved through the Florida Keys. And then, of course, this really cool segment with Next Era Energy Marketing as everyone got their bonus card and we got a good look at all the crews. I can't think of a better thing to be doing on a Thursday afternoon in the middle of November. And if I had my way, I'd be sitting right there with Mark Palanchin and his guests on that 105 foot leopard yacht so we are going to wrap up episode six at this time and when we come back in episode seven with featured coverage of the key west poker run we'll be headed to key west and we'll be at the poker run village with a big party thursday night that's right it's the body painting expo and that is something that you're only going to find in key west it's all here with the florida powerboat club and another episode of power boating in paradise featuring the 26th edition of the key west offshore poker run Presented by Mercury Racing with grand prize sponsor, OffLeaseOnly.com. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. And if you want to follow all of our episodes and social media, remember to go on YouTube at the Florida Powerboat Club channel. Click the subscription and the notification bell so that you get all of the notifications when a new episode comes out. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club and on Instagram at FL Powerboat at Stu FPC and at FPC Girls. Of course, we have a website with all of the details about membership and upcoming events. That's at flpowerboat.com. And remember guys, powerboating can be a dangerous sport. Always wear your life jackets and be safe out there. <laughs>